Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by engaging the Canadian diaspora and Guyana's development and investment opportunities. The head of state also visited three major houses of worship, including the East Scarborough Pentecostal Church, the International Muslim Organization of Toronto, and the Brampton Trevini Mandir, all of which had major Guyanese presence. During an engagement with the Guyanese diaspora in Canada, he discussed Guyana's development and numerous investment opportunities. This move ties into government's action of building and marketing Guyana as a unique brand. He underscored that a world-class service sector will require modernization of Guyana's records management system, using biometrics and electronic identification cards and passports, among other e-management systems and embracing robotics and technology. We have to now utilize the technology that is available to move us quickly up the chain, as expensive as it is. We have to transfer everything that we have learned to do all our lives onto the electronic platform. We are now not only making the investment, but making the legislative changes. To, to allow this to happen. We have to now embrace robotics. This is part of the developing a world-class services sector. Going to robotics, electronic data management system, technology, a paperless system, on Wednesday, His Excellency President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali arrived in Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago for the opening ceremony of the 45th Meeting of Heads of Government of the Caribbean Community, CARICOM. This year, CARICOM is celebrating 50 years since the signing of the Treaty of Tagoramas between Guyana, Barbados, Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago, which birthed the regional body. President Ali and other CARICOM heads of government revisited the Chagramas Convention Center in Trinidad and Tobago on Tuesday morning, where the historical signing took place. At the venue, the leaders signed a letter that contains their collective vision for the next 50 years. It was then sealed and placed in a time capsule for CARICOM centenary celebrations in July of 2073. The leaders also took part in a tree planting exercise. His Excellency also met with a number of leaders, including the Secretary General of the United Nations, Prime Minister of South Korea, and President of Rwanda during the opening ceremony of the meeting. On Thursday, President Ali held bilateral talks with the United States of America's Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, at State House. Of Guyana is seeking to strengthen his collaboration with the United States to address crime and security, as well as food and energy security. Guyana is contributing significantly in all three of these areas. The vision of Guyana is to position our country to be a leader, a global leader on energy security, food security, and climate security. We are seeking to expand our partnership with the U.S. in all of these areas. The discussion centered around the importance of establishing robust systems to effectively address transnational crime, particularly drug trafficking. The United States has played a tremendous role in the training of our security forces in the last two years, we had the greatest partnership in terms of the training of our security forces and partnership in combating many different forms of crime. And we have gained tremendous success in the last three years in these areas. We are committed to continuing this partnership, expanding this partnership, building stronger relationship and trust, creating greater network, and very soon, the trade win exercise will be held here in Guyana once more. Later that afternoon, President Ali received a courtesy visit from the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Canada, Mr. Mahinder Sidhu, at State House. On Friday morning, President Ali attended the commissioning of Bosai Minerals Clin No. 15 and Mass Project in Linden Region 10. Linden today is undergoing what Guyana is undergoing, rapid and massive transformation. Make no mistake, Region 10 and Linden will not be left behind or will not be staggering behind. But our investment in Linden is geared towards the full diversification of the economy and the expansion of opportunities in every field of national development. The road that is currently under construction 
Lin and Mabura Hill, the bridges that will be completed. And also, we are already discussing with Brazil and other stakeholders, and I'm sure this will be an agenda item in China itself with President Xi on how we are going to complete the road from Letem all the way to Mabura Hill. So we'll have a full highway that will integrate the transport logistics of northern Brazil, Guyana, and the rest of the region. On Friday afternoon, President Ali delivered the feature address at the Guyana Livestock Development Authority, GLDA, Poultry Symposium. The Guyana Livestock Development Agency, GLDA, hosted a symposium with small, medium, and large-scale poultry farmers at the Archer Chong Conference Center on Friday. The symposium, a brainchild of President Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali, presented a platform for farmers to share challenges affecting them within the poultry sector. It also aimed to develop a consultation-based holistic system to increase poultry production towards the goal of attaining food security. The poultry industry in Guyana must be rebuilt, must be rebuilt in a resilient, sustainable, viable, and profitable way. Today's meeting is not only to deal with the current situation and crisis, it's to position this sector. We're going to do everything that it takes to position this sector to be one of the strongest poultry sector in the region. He told farmers that government is committed to providing support and investment to assist farmers in reducing difficulties faced and improving the poultry industry. This was the President's Diary where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching. Do join us again next time.